Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Levi Bell, NFL defensive end. Um, currently in the free agency process. Um, welcome to this channel. Um, today, about to get after it in the gym. And uh, I just got back from a Tennessee Titan tryout. And um, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Um, they flew me out there. It was like 1300 bucks for the, the flight they paid for. And um, put me up in a hotel did like the physical, past physical, and then did some like D-line drills, um, pass rush drills, and didn't make it, but still in the process. My agent is working, finding other teams. Um, the season hasn't started yet. They're still, they just started camp, so trust in the Lord and still getting after it. Um, follow along this journey. I'm gonna just record my NFL journey. Um, but I'm at the gym, back in, flew back to Utah last night, um, and just getting my body ready um, for camp. And yeah, if you want to follow along and learn, um, let's get it. But about to get up in there, about to do some recovery stuff, but let's go. All right, bet. So this is the red light therapy room that I like to do. Uh, I do about 12 minutes, like 12 minutes max. You get in like this chamber turn it on and then like it just starts getting red and basically red light therapy um just really gets the body recovered um i don't know all the science to it but really good for recovery all right so i cannot see anything these glasses black out everything but it's because it's really bad for your eyes i'm assuming so about to get in this thing get that recovery let's go all right i'm naked in this red light therapy room uh i don't know if you should be looking at this but uh yeah let's get this recovery baby all right made it out I feel like a new man time to get into the massage chairs and really work out those muscles all right so i'm in the massage room and it's like this dark room quiet um and this is massage chair this thing is huge Pretty much just gonna turn it on it's gonna massage me for like 10 minutes and just really work out the knots everything that you know i just had a whole travel day on the on the plane flying to tennessee then try out so just helping my body just get that blood flow and recover but yeah so i'm just gonna turn it on um and it like adjust to my body and it do its thing Oh yeah, it's nice. I just finished the massage um, chair. Felt amazing. I did like two rounds of it, 20 minutes total. 20 minutes total. Um, now I'm on this treadmill and I set it to like 12 incline, 12% incline. And I'm going about like two miles an hour. So it's just like a nice walk. And at an incline, I'm gonna go forward for a while, then I'm gonna go backwards. I'm just really getting like that blood flow in the knees, and helping like my legs recover. I'm um, also warming it up because I'm gonna do like a little um, leg day, like easy on the joints, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, yeah, man, it's. This is a crazy journey. It's, it's so unknown being an NFL free agent. You know, camp just started the other day. You never know what team's gonna call. You never know. You can get called. Like, I can get called today, tomorrow, or it could be three to six months from now. You never know. It's always being ready, always staying in shape, always keeping your cardio up. Like, always trying to stay at the right body weight. Um, and just keeping your muscles strong, joints strong, because football is an intense sport. And working your skill, working your craft, like working D-line, pass rush drills, just gotta keep going, you know? One day at a time, trust in the process. Um, just part of it, like, everyone in the real world has to deal with the unknown. And it's not fun. Like, but the reality is, is nothing's guaranteed in life, not even your own life. Like every day you wake up in the morning, it's a blessing to be, to be alive. 
Um, so just having that mentality of living in, in today, but preparing for tomorrow. Not worrying about tomorrow, but living in today, living in the fullness of today is so important. Not getting so caught up in what's gonna happen tomorrow is gonna drive you crazy if, you, if you're in the unknown season. And some of you are on the known season and it's just repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. That can also be hard too. So continuing to be content in every season that you are in and, and grinding and having goals outside yourself and striving to achieve those things, you know, it's a very important thing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna continue to work my position stuff, trying to keep my body like ready technique wise, not try to keep it easy on the joints, really keep intense cardio going up on that bike. Um, stop. So I don't know, I could be anywhere in the United States in 24 hours. There's different climates. So there's humidity and like down south and there's also like dry heat like Utah and up, up north. It's cold, it's hot. So getting used to this climate is very important. I like to end every single workout that I do with either like the sauna or the steam room. I honestly do both and try to really like grind myself with that so I get really used to that hot and also it's just really good for a recovery to sweat it out. But yeah, and do this for a little bit longer and then let's get to that leg lift. Alrighty, first leg lift after doing that little treadmill warm up. Um, legs feel warmed up is the leg press. And I love this thing because it doesn't really put much pressure on you. Sorry, this construction. Uh, doesn't really put much pressure on your joints. So what I like to do, I like to do the single leg because it really exposes any areas of your leg that is imbalanced. That's what I've really been focusing on now I'm in the NFL is just like focusing on the little details, doing a lot of single leg stuff because that really helps prevent injuries. Um, and it's not about how heavy you go. So I'm going to start warming up with uh, 110 pounds, see how that feels, three sets of 10. We'll go full range of motion, oh, yeah. there we go, knee to head, oh yeah. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> we really want to keep that knee straight. Don't let it buckle in. Control down. Go faster up. Next leg. Right leg. In between each sets, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out some single leg calf raises. Blast the calves. Great way to superset calves and legs. Let's get it. Oh yeah. See that full extension? The bottom, stretch it out. Do like three sets of 10. Tibia is fully activated. To the other side. Woo. 
time for the next set. Get a little heavier. 20 pounds up. Don't want to do too crazy on the single leg. One more. Woo. Next leg. Man, you really feel that deep stretch in the muscle. Love this because it's like a safe way of getting really deep squat, obliterating the muscles in there. Whoo, tough for calves. Go down slow, full extension where it locks out the foot. Come up. Feel that tib locked, calf locked. This machine is really great if you're really trying to like blast your legs. If you like know you're not gonna walk tomorrow, um, you don't have really anything crazy, you kind of be sitting on the couch rest day. Great machine because it's secure. You can push to failure. Compared to like squat, you push to failure. You know, you're putting your back at risk, spine at risk, blowing out a, a knee. You do this, like you can push to failure. And whenever it's heavy, that's why I like machines. You can just simply just rack the chair and be done. And it's really controlled. Yeah. Great way to blast the legs, build a lot of hypertrophy. I love doing it. It's important to continue to remember to, to train hypertrophy. You know, it's, it, it's easy for me to get caught up in uh, strength, training speed, strength, athletic ability, but I also have to remember to, to train hypertrophy because if you don't use it, you'll lose it. All right, last set. You don't know me, son. You don't know me, son. You don't know me, son. <laughs> Hello. Dropped the camera. Hello. Well, that was awkward. Dropped the camera. Trying to get hype, dropping the camera. It's whatever. Last leg, right leg. Oh, crazy stretch. All right. Man, shorts can get a little wedgy. Sheesh, and careful. 
All right. Feel that blast in the leg. You want to catch it before it clicks to the bottom. And so you're like really putting time and attention. I'm just some calf raises. I'm gonna do double leg this time and just pump it out. Kind of get like a little bouncing motion. You gotta build, you know, you got Achilles tendon. You wanna develop that springiness to it. You don't, ever, you don't always want it to be slow and control because everything you do as an athlete is explosive, springy. So I have my toes pointed in. Now I'm gonna point them out and do that for about 10 reps. 10 to 20 reps. Now that they're out, I'm gonna face them in, pointing each other, and get that little springiness to it. It burns. All right, that works like all the different angles of your calves. Your calf's a big muscle and there's a lot of different muscles a part of it. I don't know all the, the science behind it. You got your soleus and your gastroid. Don't know if I said that right, but you wanna make sure you hit all the different angles in your calves. All right, that was the first leg exercise. Time to move on to the next. All right, now I'm on the leg extension machine. Time to blast the, calf, the, uh, the quads, not calves. But, you know, I don't really do much machines, crazy amount. But on recovery days, you don't want to blast the joints. Your muscles can recover within like 24 to 48 hours. Your joints can take up to one to two weeks to recover. So like, you really don't want to put too much strain on them. Um, and uh, for this leg extension, there's going, it looks like this. Put your feet in, your toes in. You want to make that little black dot right here line up with the inside of your knee. So when it extends, it moves with the knee. So it's like a healthy motion. And if you don't line it up, it's gonna feel very uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, it's gonna do three sets of 10 of this. Slow and control, feel the burn. Um, lock it at the top and then go slowly down. And um, yeah, just really get that hypertrophy get that a little heavier load the stack put a 130 it's not about the weight just want to feel that burn Woo. as I gotten leaner I notice the muscles in my quads started getting more defined. It's crazy, like, the hidden muscles that come out whenever I was bigger, when I was 280, 285, 270 plus, it just looked like one big block. And um, I know there's a lot of crazy shredded people out there, but if you're a smaller dude and you really get shredded, it makes you look a lot bigger than you actually are. It makes those muscles pop. In order to do that, it's all on that diet. It's the hard part, as far as that discipline though. For me, the best way is to track calories, because uh, if I don't, it's all the little calories that sneak in that gets me to get my weight up. All right, oh, I didn't even count. Moving on, I'm just gonna do like a minute plank, move on to the next set. Minute plank. Ready, go. You don't know me, so long. <laughs> Man, planks are great. Really get that. The abs, the low back, shoulders. It's really good. 
so many different variations too. Side planks, alternate, you know, push leg up, push his arm up. Love him. Whew. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, shoot. Secret is always going rock, never expect it. I'm not even counting. I'm just gonna say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, yeah. All right, another set, another set. Get a good angle to show the quads. All right, next set. Load it up a little bit more. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, there we go. Locking it up at the top. I don't want to obliterate it. You never know, a team may call me and I'll have to fly out tomorrow. That's what happened with Tennessee Titans. Lately, my agent was like, you want to fly out tomorrow? That's just how it is, so gotta be smart. The last thing I wanna do is destroy my legs and then immediately get on a plane and fly out. So, uh, just being ready for that. Okay, I'm gonna knock out one more set real quick. Move on to leg curls. All right, last set. Remember, men, beasts, guard your heart above all else. The gym can be a dangerous place. A lot of beautiful women walking around, not wearing much clothes. Your eyes are the windows to your soul, soul, your heart, mind, will, emotions. So guard your eyes because that, whatever you see, goes into your heart and that births sin. So stay loyal, stay faithful, be a gentleman, guard your heart. Just want to give that little little advice but it is a battle it is requires discipline and requires self-control or requires continuing to walk in the spirit and not the flesh all right last set let's get it this one i'm going to go a little faster try to get more of explosive But lock it up at the top. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Burn it out. You don't know me, son. For leg curls. All right, time for leg curl machine. This one can't go as heavy, but your quads are, are should be stronger than your hamstrings. Um, I don't know how this angle looks, but uh, three sets of ten. Pause at the top for three seconds. Control down. Explode up. There we go. Two, three. That's three. One, two, three. It's four. And this is not about just ripping it off the bone. Because the hamstrings, for some reason, they bite you in the butt the next day. So keep that in mind. Don't. You are better to have form and be in control than out of control. Two more. Seven. I'll do one more, one more. All right. Control down. All righty. We're going to the next set. Figure out, I'll do some stretching in between. Super set, I'm not gonna go straight into it. Do some stretching. 
Um, I did um, needling earlier today, so I'm not doing any upper body stuff. And I want to avoid the planks. Um, my trainer said to avoid flexing the upper traps area. I did needling, so I want to keep the muscles relaxed to really encourage the most recovery and blood flow in that area. So avoiding all planks or upper body stuff, just do some stretching. Um, and then get back to the next set. All right, set two. Crank that up another notch. Same thing, pause at the top, <clears throat> control down, normal speed up. You can point your toes a certain direction out, get a different part of the hamstring, or in, different part of the hamstring, or straight, you get a different part of the hamstring. I lost count. One more. Ooh, that burns. That burns. All right. Got me some stretching in, and then last set. Time to knock out this set of hamstrings. <sighs> Leg curls. <sighs> I'm gonna do alternating, regular. I'm gonna do toes pointed normal, toes pointed out, toes pointed in, and just keep alternating. Two. Three. One more, one more. One more set of three. All right. Woo. Great work today for a recovery day. Man, okay, so that's pretty much it for legs. I was thinking, hmm, I'm gonna hop in, steam room, sauna, if you need a good sweat in, in the pool, I'm gonna do some pool activation. I can't record myself in the pool. Uh, I just think that'd be weird. Um, and uh, I don't wanna put the equipment at risk. So I'm gonna do that. Now I was thinking, I should do some kind of like jump rope series for some cardio, for low impact cardio. But shin splints are a common thing whenever you go from like picking up running and whenever I get into camp, you're gonna pick up running a lot and you run a lot during the season. So a way to really get the shins ready because it's like micro impacts is like jumping. So I guess doing some like jump rope will help. So I might go ahead and do some of that. But yeah, and then call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. If you subscribe for more, I'm just gonna continue to record my journey, drop great advice, and uh, yeah, appreciate y'all. I want to mentor, give wisdom, here to help and share my journey. But we pray us out, Lord Jesus, thank you for this person. Help them to know you and love you and find you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, bless them. Help them to know that they are unstoppable with you. Nothing's impossible. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go with God. Go with peace. Get in your word. Be a gentleman. Guard your heart. Guard your eyes. Peace. Go with God.